G'day guys, how's it going? My name is CJ and the iPad Pro has only just been released in the wild and whilst third party accessories are slowly trickling in, we have access to Apple's official accessories and I've got two with me today that will make owning the iPad a more useful and dare I say luxurious experience. So what I've got today is Apple's leather sleeve for iPad Pro and the smart keyboard cover. Whilst these have been available even before the iPad was released, we can only really get a good look at how they work with the iPad itself now. It's always interesting to see how Apple packages their official accessories as quite often they're more than just a simple box that you flip open as is the case with these guys here. To start off with we've got the leather sleeve. It's encased in a simple box that's held by a unique mechanism that clicks and locks the inside onto the outer box. Give it a small tug and it unclicks and out comes the sleeve. The one I've got is in midnight blue, it smells like leather and has a really nice matte soft feel to it that gives the sleeve a little bit more flexibility and stretch and that'll be key to this combo as we'll see later on. The sleeve itself is touted as made for the iPad Pro mainly because of the Apple pencil slot that you can see at the top with a very cleverly designed cardboard model of a pen. The sleeve itself feels great in the hand and the Apple pencil slot is designed so you can easily slide it in and then securely lock it into place so it doesn't fall out. The sleeve is designed to fit the iPad well naked with a small amount of space to move and only just enough space to fit the iPad with the keyboard case snugly as we'll see later on. Overall however, this is a great looking and great fitting option for those who still want to use the iPad naked but still have the ability to, to protect the device when you're on the go. Just slide the iPad into its sleeve, chuck it into your bag, take it to work or class and know it's going to be safe from scuffs. And don't just think you can only use the new iPad Pros with it, it'll still comfortably fit the older 9.7 inch Pro and even the new base model iPad. You'll just have an Apple Pencil size slot that you can substitute for a real pen instead. That being said, as far as sleeves go, these are astronomically expensive running at 189 Australian dollars. But you are paying for a very premium feeling sleeve made from premium materials. So if you're buying the best, you might as well ride with the best. But no seriously, it is really bloody expensive. And on to more expensive accessories, we need to emphasize that the iPad smart keyboard cover is bloody expensive. It's at 235 Australian dollars. That's more than half the price of the base model iPad. And unlike the sleeve, it's not even made from leather. But in any case, the overall design is the same as the previous models, but compared to the 9.7 inch model, the subtle increase in footprint means you have a more spaced out typing experience. The smart cover is smart through its use of magnets, allowing you to sit it in a few different orientations, and of course the utilization of the smart connector pads on the side. If you've never used one of these smart covers before, you could get a little confused, but it's pretty easy to figure out and once you've nailed the placement, you'll have a very simply but surprisingly sturdy keyboard stand. Now typing on the keyboard itself is decent and the tactile feeling is something I'd compare to the butterfly switches found on the new MacBook Pros. Again, as per the old smart keyboard models, there aren't any function keys and so shortcuts are performed through pretty abstract key combinations. Command tabbing is probably the most useful shortcut you'll end up using in any case. Once closed, the cover still maintains a somewhat slim profile, though you can definitely notice that extra flap that forms the keyboard. To some it might be distracting when you compare it to the basic smart cover that you can buy, but this extra size also makes a bit of an impact when you pair it with the leather sleeve. Unlike before where the iPad fit really nicely and almost on the looser side, when you pair the iPad with the cover attached, it definitely takes a little bit of pushing to get it in. And once it's in, the whole package becomes more of a nugget than a slim case. That being said, it still fits in and it actually feels pretty secure once it's in and doesn't look to be at any risk of causing damage to the sleeve itself. As with the typical way leather ages, if used regularly with this keyboard cover, it'll probably stretch and eventually become a perfect fit. I'm also very interested to see how it, like all my other leather goods, age over time. So overall, what we've got here are two very well built and high quality first party accessories from Apple. Right now, the accessory market for the new 10.5 inch iPad is pretty limited because it's early days. And that means early adopters will need to pay a hefty price for these. Neither of these accessories are cheap, but they are both of really high quality. 
For those on a budget where buying the iPad itself has rinsed your wallet, take it easy, chill out, wait a couple weeks, and eventually they'll be equally useful and quality products for a fraction of the price. However, for those that are willing to splash out, you're not going to be disappointed with either of these. The sleeve will provide a stylish option for protecting the iPad, and the smart keyboard itself remains one of the best keyboard accessories out there for the iPad, and it actually puts it within reach of productive laptop PC territory. We'll have to wait and see for iOS 11 to see if it really does take the crown. So what do you guys think? Do you think either of these are good options for the new iPad Pros? Let me know why or why not in the comment section below. Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to smash the like button, and if you haven't already, do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon next to my name. Thanks for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. As always, say good Eddie Mum for me. Cheers. Mm -hmm.